All right, so before I blow this James Bond thing out of proportion, okay, because James Bond, or 007, if read backwards, 700 magnets required on 14 free energy wheels in a free energy cell, okay? And there's a lot more to free energy in James Bond, or Bond, James Bond, or Bond James. And we're going to look at all the different ways we can look at it. But right now I'm focused on looking at my little cell right now, okay? Now I know it goes down, but I'm just looking at this cell. Now, if you can't see that, it's a little home. It's a little house, okay? The roof is inverted. That's Armageddon, the roof. There's 18 cells above the M, not including the M. Like the Roman numerals here, and then these numbers here. And if that were to flip up, you'd have a little house, okay? Now, the thing I find most interesting about if it flipped up and you had a little house, Okay. Remember those little like pictures you drew as a kid of a square with a house with an X through it and you had to do it all in one line? It reminds me of that. Okay? But the top, the roof is Armageddon. <laughs> but inverted from this depiction, obviously. Now what I see, okay, in Armageddon, let's just focus in on Armageddon. There it is. Your line here, your hole here. And these guys right here are all like space. Okay, so the capital A exists. There's your Austin. There's your Lee. There's your Meredith. Now that's interesting. What I find interesting is I think I found Sheila and Amber Graves. Okay. Now, Austin Lee Meredith is all gonna be capitalized, but Sheila and Amber Graves, because the G over here is lowercase, and it takes up the whole left side. That means Shelane Amber have to be on this side. Okay, I believe that the hypercube is the A. Okay, so up to the green here, cube within a cube within a cube, the singularity and the line will be your lowercase a. That's your Amber. Meaning that all this down here is your Shelane. Mm, it can go to this or not, I really don't care. It probably does. You know, so what I what do I notice about the heart and a snake? Usually, there's a sword. There's your hilt, and there's your sword, and there's your snake riding the sword going through the heart. So I believe that this does depict Shilane Amber Grievous or Graves or Greaves, whatever. Okay, this stuff. That's a G at the end. Okay, it got erased. Whatever. I think it. it your cat has nine lives because your G is seven. It's in the circle plus one, and there's a dot plus one, which is nine. Cats have nine lines. Cat o' nine tails. Your GTAC, your DNA and RNA, part of every single one of us, is derived by this. All right. And James Bond is a good key about confirming free energy, all right, or cellular energy, or the fact that Masons know about this stuff and keep it hidden from us for eons, but depict it hidden in plain sight for a very long time, hiding the secrets of cellular earth and cellular energy. So like, here's my best shot at showing to you and proving to you once and for all how James Bond symbolizes cellular energy, or the story of creation, or whatever you want to call it, through signs and symbols. Now, let's do a little recap. So first of all, okay, free energy cell has six faces, eight vertices, totaling 14 different wheels that'll be turning. Now look at them. Six of them are going to be larger than eight of them, okay? Now every wheel is broken into an exterior and interior wheel of magnets, which I believe are going to be ring magnets. Don't ask me why. It's about Taurus. People aren't smart enough to talk about that yet. So 42 magnets on the outside, 8 magnets on the inside, just like the goddamn poppy, for a total of 50 magnets. 14 times 50 is 700. Read backwards, it's 007. I'm pretty ultimate guy of infinite energy, I'd say. So heaven. Okay, so if we, this is describing the wheels you know, on the faces and the vertices of the cube. This is heaven on the inside. This is at the epicenter. You're going to have, again, five rings, an X, Y, Z plane, followed by two for your eyes. It symbolizes your eyes. 
Because we live in 5D Earth, okay? Where you see everything in a two-dimensional movie screen where three-dimensional objects are within. Now, I believe that there are 32 magnets and four bearings per ring. Five times 32 is 160. Five times four is 20. 20 is the letter T, the cross, important. What's 32? F, capital F. Anyways. James Bond. Okay, look at this. I broke it into the capitals and lowercase letters. So James Bond breaks down like that, okay? 10 and 2 in lowercase letters. Or 10 and 38 and 2 and 33. Look at that. A 33 is just a circle 32 and a 38 is just a circle 37. And look at that. If you want to go even further, a circle 37 is basically a... 32 circled six times, but what I've depicted here, okay, are five additional rings. There's actually six rings, but whatever. No, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, we're good. The difference between J, or the tenth letter, and B, the second letter, is five. You have five additional rings around your 32. Five times 32 is 160. All right there, James Bond. There's your 160. Okay? Magnets. So you have a 700 plus 160 is 160. Or 700 and, jeez, 860. We're not there. We need 874. Where's the, re where's the rest? Where's the other 14? Oh, well, there are 14 right here. James is a 10 and 38. And a 38 is just 33 circled five times. And that's very big in Freemasonry and the story of creation. Cellular math. But to be simple, 3 plus 8 is 11. But since you're combining two cells to become a new galaxy, you have to add the plus 1. That equals 12. 12 plus 10, well, 10 is just 1 and a 0, is equivalent to 12 plus a 0 plus a 1, which is still equivalent to a circle 13, which is a 14. If you don't like that, okay, look at bond. Bond is 2 and a 33. 3 plus 3 is a circle 6, which is a 7. A 7 plus a 2 is a 9. Bond has four letters, or four selves, in its galaxy, okay? So you have to account for five plus ones. So nine plus five is 14. All right, so that equals 874 magnets needed in this device to create current, what I believe. Okay, let's flip it over and see what I see over here. Yeah, this way. Oh, yeah, James, ah, oh, from mosquitoes. James is, uh, we're gonna account for the 26 as capital letter. 26 plus 10 plus 1 plus 13 plus 5 plus 19 is 74. That's your god particle. G-O-D. G dot D. In the fly spec. Reverse of that is dog. They're interesting. Now remember this. When we did over here Austin Lee Meredith and Sheila Ann Amber Grace, we circled. We counted for the plus 1, the plus 1, the plus 1. But for Sheila Ann Amber Grace, we only counted for the 1 plus 1 of the galaxy. Well, let's say we do that for bond. If we had a plus 1 here, it becomes Bone. Give a dog a bone? I find that mildly humorous. So let's flip over Bond. I didn't flip them the right way. So Bond over here, there you go. That's, that's what this one equals. 61, read it backwards, it's 16 hex, it's a circle 15, which is your fist, the hand of God. Interesting. Now here's some more lower level stuff. So James Bond, again, if we break it into 10 and 38 and 2 and 33, okay? It's 12, complete. If you read it backwards, it's blackjack. You know, a 2 is a 1, you know? Or a 1 is a 2. Because a 1 is really a 2, because you're always connected to heaven. You read backwards, I guess. Okay, so what I see here is 12 is an L, or L. 21 is U or U. L, U. Hmm, interesting. When you add all the little guys together, you're going to get 71. Read it backwards, it's 17. 17 is the letter Q in our alphabet, which depicts the free energy wheel. A wheel connected to an axle going to heaven, which has one magnet on it, because there's singularity there, finalizing the one-dimensional line, and there's 50 magnets in that, you know, very reduced simplistic drawing of a free energy wheel. Now, what I also find interesting is down here, if you were to go James Bond and count for all the selves first, so the five selves, J plus five will be 15, two plus the one will be three, there's your 18, or your R, you have QR, but you got a plus one it because it's in a universe, like James Bond is a universe. It's not just, there's two galaxies in the universe with a whole bunch of cells. When you plus one it, you get your S. Okay, like this is the galaxy, the universe. 
There's your S. 19 is your S. We got your Q and your S. Remember, your Q is the free energy wheel, and your S is basically the wave that you collect the three-phase energy. But what if you go Bond James? If you go Bond James, and you have a B, which is 2, and 4, so you have 6, and you have a 10 and a 1, which is 11, which is 17, which is, your, again, your Q, but you got plus 1 to it, and then it's your R. So look at this. We finally got Q, R, S. Remember what I said? QRS are very important because it depicts free energy collection. That is your wheel spinning. Your R is your Armageddon code or Ra, the sun god. And your S is the waveform. Maybe something to do with the Matterbolt set. Whatever. So if we go even further, okay, let's look at what he usually says. He says Bond, comma, James Bond. Well, if you do the math, like... Bond is 2 and 33 again. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. That's interesting. But if we look at it as Bond with 4, it's 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus... That's 6. Hey, look at that. It's your 14 again. And BJB is also 14. Okay, right backwards is a 41. So I made the video, watched the video, saw something, had to stop and turn it over again. So remember 42 and 8 magnets, very important, and you're 50, right? Very important. Check it out. I saw it right here. Okay, 14 backwards is a 41, but you have to circle it for your 42. Those are your 42 magnets of everything. That's the capital letters. Now, the lowercase letters make 104, and you have the comma to account for. What happens when you add that shit up? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 magnets and 42 magnets. <sighs> you cheeky bastard. 33, 38, 33 is a 104, which is almost like a 14. Now your comma is a 0 and a 1, which is like a 2. If you add them all together, you get 120, which is just like a 12, which is what James means. Or, sorry, the JB over here, 12, but you're now we're in a, an order of magnitude. So again, Bond, James, Bond. You get 6 down here. J plus 4 and B plus 1, okay. Anyways. Whatever, whatever okay. Over here, James Bond, okay, Bond, James Bond is equal to 14. Look, 14 characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 characters. If you count for all the capitals, you get 78 plus your 33, 33, 38 plus your 14. Okay, you get 196. 196 is interesting because 96 magnets are 32 times 3, and it's like in the circle for your third dimension. But if we go down here... Your comma is just like a dot connected to a one, which is like when it's circled in the universe at the end of the day, it's going to be equal to balance nine. So either they can cancel or they can be tacked on the end because like your 196 with the comma might be a circled 96 with a nine at the end. Or it's a 196 plus nine, which is 205. Or it's 205 plus 14 because you have 14 selves to account for. So it's 219. Read it backwards, it's 912, or it's 911 in a circle. So I find that very interesting. All of it. I do. Okay? James Bond symbolizes free energy. Okay? Just does. Okay? James Bond. James Bond. 007 is 700 magnets, accounting for 14 wheels turning. Okay? His goddamn name has 14 letters, which signifies, or Bond, James Bond. <clears throat> Anyways, his, his name over here, I believe. Yeah. James and Bond both equal 14 in a certain point of view. Okay? And then, again, your 160 comes from James Bond. When you start breaking it down between the uppercase and lowercase letters. So I find this is all very fascinating. And if anyone wants to challenge me on what I have to say about Armageddon, on what I have to say about cellular math, on what I have to say about, Hey, who's Batman? Bruce Wayne. What's Bruce Wayne? B is the second letter. Wayne is the 23rd letter. Read it backwards. Yeah, Bruce Wayne, guy. Okay, and this is also interesting. Okay, the 32 with five additional rings. Okay, I was, I was looking at this, and I was looking at how many, like, 69s there are. There's two 69s here. But look at over here. What's going to happen? Check it out. How many 32s are going to happen? One here, one here. That's your 8-bit. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It takes nine, you know, sixty nines to create American flag. Now, what did I say over here in my little trivial bit? All of this, Bond, James Bond, 
When you count for everything, and you count for the comma, that's encircled by everything. You get 969. You get 969s, guy. 